So Drake and his baby mama, Sophie Brousseau, are great at co-parenting together, but they're not exactly on romantic dinner date terms, despite a recent video that suggested otherwise. So Drake's baby mama, Sophie Brousseau, recently posted a video on social media which suggested that the two of them were out on a date, a romantic dinner date in Paris after his concert. But it turns out that this guy was nothing more than a Drake lookalike who we're told Sophie posed with to chase some clout. So it's pretty interesting that Sophie would try to pull this, especially since Drake gave her the full-on VIP treatment at his Paris show, as well as being great co-parents and Drake being a great father for Adonis. Paris Jackson has had a turbulent week, a suicide attempt, according to law enforcement, and also a family that wants her in rehab, uh, but that did not stop her from having a good time last night, saying everything is just fine. Paris, hey Paris, how are you? They're in here, Paris. Paris, is everything okay? Yes. Now, as fans, you may be excited to see Paris out, but as we previously reported, her close family and friends want her to go to rehab, but she's very adamant about not going. There is hysteria at USC right now. Students are pointing the guilty finger at other students claiming that they got into the university through misdeeds. We found out the Student Judicial Council has received 60 complaints by various students and faculty saying that 60 students were able to get into the university by underhanded means. Three of these complaints are being taken seriously and investigated. All three of the students in question used the services of ringleader Rick Singer. Now as for Lori Lachlan's daughters, Olivia and Isabella, we're told that the Judicial Council was about to begin an investigation uh, into their situation, but they were actually called to the provost's office and told to stand down uh, because the college was actually going to handle their cases in particular, uh, probably because they were the two biggest names implicated in the scandal. Um, however, the school never got a chance uh, to really investigate because Isabella and Olivia made the decision themselves to not return to USC out of fear of being bullied. The Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz trilogy fight is going to happen. That's according to Conor McGregor himself. It's one of the fights that UFC fans just need to see again. And Conor was talking to some fans at a bar in Chicago and he was asked about the trilogy fight. And he said that he owes it to Nate to make this thing happen. So Diaz gave me a question about that. He fought me, he beat me, he gave me the rematch with him at the exact same way. There was no hesitation. That's a true fighter right there. So I have no more respect. I owe him that. I owe him the trilogy now. And the trilogy will happen. Now, the previous two fights were some of the biggest fights that the UFC has ever put on. In fact, two of the top three UFC fights ever were the Nate Diaz fights. So uh, fans are into the fight, they want to see him. Now, the only roadblock could be here, does Conor McGregor get that stake of UFC ownership that he wants? And if Dana White doesn't give it to him, will he still fight?